Hi, the purpose of this learning tutorial is to take a look at text in Photoshop. First, we have to get the text tool active, and I'm currently not seeing my layers panel visible on the screen. So I'm going to go up to Window and choose Layers, and there it is. You can see I don't have anything other than a background layer right now. To apply text, I want to get the text tool. When I do this, I'm not going to type on the background layer. Choosing the text tool will automatically give me a new layer for type. You can see it has the little triangle on the bottom corner. When I press and hold on it, you see that I have different types of type. I have horizontal type, vertical type, vertical type mask, and horizontal type mask. What we are going to look at today is the horizontal type tool. So I'm going to click on horizontal type tool. Move my cursor onto the screen, you can see that it's changed to an I-beam. I-beam meaning text, you can type text here. I can either press and drag to draw myself a text area, or I could simply just click and begin to position my cursor and begin typing. And I'm just going to type my name here. And uh, I have options, the options bar up at the top will allow me to change my font face, uh, regular bolding and so forth which is not available for this particular typeface. Uh, I have some other options up there as well but all the way at the very end I want to click the check mark to confirm my type. Okay. Now let's look at my layers. I have a new layer for type which is Annie, my name. Okay. So with the type tool still active I'm going to select my text and I'm going to change the font face from Arial Round MT Bold to something uh, a little more off the wall. Uh, I'm going to scroll down in my list till I get to Broadway. And I'm going to make my name appear in Broadway letters. Okay. I can also do other types of editing with the text selected. I can change the color by clicking on the color chip. And I like pink, so I'm going to make it a nice bright shade of pink and with this particular font face you can see I still don't have the bolding and italics available um, but I do have things over under the sharp menu I can make it crisp strong smooth or sharp I'm gonna leave that at sharp okay. now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the move tool move tool will let me press and drag to move my text to anywhere on the screen. So I'm going to drop it up here at the top left. Now um, notice that when I have the move tool selected how my mouse pointer has changed to that of a four-headed arrow. Okay, just like other objects that you transformed in Photoshop you can compress Control T and it will give you the box and the handles around it that you can use to change the dimensions that you can change, the width and height uh, of the text tool. Uh, that's not necessarily changing anything else other than the size of the text. Notice that I have increased uh, my width and height. If I click away on the move tool notice I and get back on the text tool I have changed my points to 249.2 pixels okay I'm gonna confirm it All right there is one other thing you can do with type it is in the type menu and it's gonna call be called um, rasterize type layer. Okay, now notice that my text layer is no longer treated as text. Instead, it is treated as um, an image. So, if I want to take, say, my letter A, and I've selected it, then I do Control T to transform. Now I'm transforming just my letter A. Okay? and control D to deselect. So you see how you can create type, manipulate type, and rasterize type. That is pretty much all I was going to show you in this tutorial. I hope you found it beneficial and thank you.